Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Adam rolled up on some brake lights and thought it was just a traffic jam due to another wreck on I-40, but then he spotted a pickup swerving toward an RV with flames coming out of the back of it. Adam and his wife were both concerned due to the location of the flames near the engine, and it was obvious the driver of the RV hadn't noticed the flames yet. Adam honked his horn to get the driver's attention, and the pickup driver kept nudging the RV onto the shoulder in an attempt to stop him. Luckily, the driver of the RV finally realized that something was going on and pulled over to the side of the road. Adam, his wife, and the driver of the pickup rushed over to the burning RV. Fortunately, they were able to get the driver, who was the only occupant, out of the RV. Adam's wife helped him get far away from the RV just in case it exploded. Adam says the pickup driver was the real hero as he helped get the RV off the road and brought attention to what was happening. Most people were just driving right by without a care in the world, but that one guy was gracious enough to get him stopped, likely saving his life in the process. The old man driving the RV definitely had a hard time getting around, and Adam says that if he had been left to discover the fire on his own, it would have happened too late for him to escape it. Adam stayed with the man until emergency services arrived. By then, there wasn't much left of the RV. Wham bam, you guys are heroes, man. Well done. Dominic was driving his Model 3 in Adelaide, Australia, when he witnessed a semi-truck make an unsafe lane change and pit maneuver a car. The victim vehicle hit another car before doing a 360 and almost getting smashed under the semi's trailer. Dominic called emergency services before rushing over to see if everyone was okay. Everyone involved was able to walk away from the accident, but the driver of the sedan was taken to a hospital to be checked out. Dominic shared copies of the test cam footage with the drivers that were hit, as well as with the police. While this Model 3 owner was driving down a freeway while using autopilot, another driver passed him in the right lane at high speed, somehow not realizing that a pickup in that lane was pulling a trailer. The driver swerved at the last moment and lost control. He then took off after hitting the trailer. The car only had a temporary paper license plate in the rear window and didn't have any permanent license plates. Fortunately, the Tesla's autopilot slowed down and avoided driving into the offender. There were no injuries, and the Tesla owner stopped to share the footage with the pickup driver. Miles had parked his Model Y at a Walmart in Flagstaff, Arizona. When he got back to his car, he found long scratches on his Tesla along with this sentry mode footage. The video shows a man approaching his Tesla while in the front camera we can see another person walking by. It looks like he might have spooked the first guy because he suddenly turned around and walked the other way. When he walks away, we can clearly see that he's holding something in his hand. Suddenly, he turned around and walked back toward the Tesla. He then proceeded to scratch the object all along the side of Miles' Model Y. Miles thinks the object was a knife. What do you think? Let us know in a comment. Doug was driving his Model 3 while using autopilot in Salt Lake City, Utah when, all of a sudden, a loose tire came rolling into his lane. Doug also has an aftermarket dash cam installed in his car that records audio inside the car. Let's listen to what it sounded like as Doug marked this down as an autopilot fail. Yes. Oh, nice one. That's, hey. It made it all the way across to the side. Well, I'm going to mark that one down as autopilot didn't help me. I did that. <laughs> I guess that's why you still have to be on it. Fulco had left his Model 3 parked on the street one night. Just past midnight, a man walked by, stopped next to the Tesla, and scanned the area before he went into action. We can tell he was holding something in his hand, possibly a key, before he pulled it out to make a scratch. Just as he was keying the Tesla, the laser went off and scared him off from continuing. 
However, he still managed to make a deep four inch long scratch before running off. Fulco shared this video in his neighborhood Facebook group, and several others also wrote about scratches on their cars that evening and earlier this year. They all hope the Tesla footage will help the cops catch the vandal. We've actually cropped the video so the man's face isn't visible. We have to do this due to European privacy laws, but the police have received a copy of the original footage and hopefully they'll be able to identify and catch the criminal. David had parked his Model Y in Santa Monica, California, when a guy walking by the Tesla was startled by the Sentry laser and kicked the car, setting off the alarm. He seems like a nice guy. Zach was waiting for his Chick-fil-A order in his car, playing chess on Tesla Arcade with some coworkers. That's when a vehicle pulled up next to them and boom, someone slammed their door right into Zach's Tesla. He says the impact even shook the car. They then closed the door before getting out on the other side instead. Zach quickly confronted them and it turned out to be two army soldiers who just looked at him shocked. They denied it had happened at all until he said it's a Tesla and it caught everything on video. After hearing this, they finally started to cooperate. It turned out the guy hadn't even been driving his own car. It actually belonged to his commanding officer, and they had to go through his insurance provider to file a claim. The soldier's father has offered to cover the damages out of his own pocket, and the estimate from Tesla to repair the damage is between 600 and 2,000 US dollars, depending on if the area needs to be repainted. Dan was driving his Model 3 in Gulf Breeze, Florida. He was waiting at a red light when he heard a massive metal crunching noise next to him. The pickup truck next to him had been rear-ended by a white SUV whose driver hit the brakes a little too late. Dan checked on both drivers and they were perfectly fine. He also gave the driver of the pickup a copy of the Tesla Cam video in case he needed it for his insurance claim. Kevin was traveling at approximately 55 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone when he was overtaken by a car traveling somewhere around 90 miles per hour. The other driver cut across multiple lanes before smashing into a car in front of him. He then bounced across the roadway to the far wall. Fortunately, nobody was seriously hurt and in the video, we can see him get out of his car before walking around. Kevin provided the Tesla cam footage to the investigating police officer, who was extremely grateful. Ahmad was driving with autopilot engaged when one of the tires on the van in front of him exploded. Ahmad took over from autopilot and moved over to another lane to stay clear of the van. Scott was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged when all of a sudden a deer was standing in the middle of the interstate and autopilot didn't react at all. Scott hit the deer with his driver's side mirror, but the deer was okay and it only scratched the underside of the mirror. Bob was driving in Oxford, Connecticut when he saw a vehicle swerve off the road to avoid rear-ending another vehicle, choosing instead to plow through a mailbox. Thinking back, Bob wishes he'd left a note for the owner of the mailbox. He hopes that maybe they'll find this video. They must be wondering what happened to their mailbox. It was a beautiful afternoon when Seth was driving home from work in his Model 3. That's when he noticed a motorcycle rider having a good time up ahead of him. As they both approached an intersection, the biker was heading straight through a green light when a small white bus decided to make a U-turn right in front of him. The biker reacted quickly to avoid the bus, but he ended up hitting a street sign, going up a curb, and barreling toward oncoming traffic. Luckily, he kept control of the bike, avoiding oncoming cars until he was able to safely pull back into the correct lane of travel. After the incident, Seth pulled over to make sure everyone was okay and to give the motorcyclist his number in case he wanted the Tesla cam footage. The responding police officer told Seth, my life and reports would be a whole lot easier if everyone owned a Tesla and had a dash cam. Parker had parked his Model Y in Green Bay, Wisconsin, when a young man walked up to his Tesla and held up a message for his Tesla cam. He waved into the camera and held up his phone with a message that read, send this to Wham Bam Tesla cam. Message received, thanks man. 
Abaya had parked his car in San Francisco, California when a thief pulled up next to his Tesla and checked to see if he could see anything valuable inside. Abaya had folded his back seats down because he'd heard that thieves like to smash the rear windows of Tesla so they can pull the back seat down. The robber saw that nothing was there and drove off. It's insane to see that they tried to pull this off on a crowded street. There were even cars all around them. He contacted the police and they told him no report would be made because no crime had occurred. Zuko was waiting at a stop sign for cross traffic to clear. That's when a white Honda CRV ran their stop sign on the opposite side of the intersection and T-boned a gray Honda Accord that had the right of way. The force of the impact pushed the Accord into Zuko and spun the white CRV around until it came to a stop resting against his Tesla. After the accident, the guy in the CRV tried to say Zuko had been entering the intersection at the same time. So he was at fault because the CRV driver was watching him and hadn't seen the Accord. Zuko says that the guy's expression in the end was kind of funny because he didn't realize that the whole accident had been captured by Zuko's Tesla cam. Fortunately, everyone involved was okay. Daniel was on his first drive using the new full self-driving beta when a Ford F-250 driver was offended by how cautiously his Model X was driving. The other driver pulled up next to Daniel and rolled his window down. He then spit on the Tesla and some of his saliva hit Daniel's passenger. This really made Daniel mad, so he told the guy he'd be filing assault charges and would be seeking his truck as compensation. Daniel is retired and says he has lots of time on his hands to pursue litigation. He'll be visiting the Las Vegas police on Monday to see if they can collect any DNA from his Tesla so he can file charges. Then he'll retain an attorney to sue the pickup driver in civil court. Game on, Daniel, go get him. Raghu was driving his Model Y with his son in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Watch what happened while they were waiting at a red light behind a Hyundai. When their light turned green, a Jeep driver ran his red light and crashed into the Hyundai. After Raghu finished talking with the police, his nine-year-old asked if he was going to send the clip to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. He replied, you bet, son. Alex was driving home after dropping off relatives at the airport when he noticed a car driving on the shoulder. Assuming they were just needing to pull over, it surprised him when they suddenly veered off the road. The driver then pulled the car back onto the roadway before crashing into some road construction barriers. After getting out to check on the driver, Alex learned that she'd had a brake failure and her brakes didn't work. She had tried to go onto the shoulder to slow down, but the car still wouldn't stop. Luckily, she and her dogs were uninjured. What a crazy ride and a crazy episode. Please subscribe for even more carnage. Stay safe, everyone.